Balance coming up on this week's episode of Go With The Heat. The Vice team suspects an erotic film director of murder in the episode Death and the Lady. On this week in Vice, we'll be taking a look back when this episode of Miami Vice aired from October 5th to October 19th, 1987, when Miami Vice was king. In news, on October 16th, 18-month-old baby Jessica McClure fell into an 8-inch well casing in her aunt's backyard in Midland, Texas. Baby Jessica would be freed 58 hours later after rescuers worked non-stop and eventually broke through the hard rocks surrounding the casing, eventually leading to her rescue. The media circus that exploded at the home was excessive. Every news channel carried the story with CNN providing around-the-clock coverage of the event. ABC even made a TV movie about the incident starring Patty Duke and Bober Bridges. In music, finally replacing Whitney Houston on the top of the Hot 100 is a rock power ballad that is a quintessential track of the 1980s. From the album Saints and Sinners, originally released in 1982, and then re-recorded in 1987, is Here I Go Again by Whitesnake. Famous for both the classic hard rock melody and the music video playing Around the Clock on MTV, the song is consistently ranked as one of the greatest songs in the 80s. In movies, with Fatal Attraction still winning the box office, we'll continue to go to the archive of movies from 1987. I've been touting how great 1987 was for film, but the one I'm looking at this week doesn't fit that description. Starring Kirk Cameron, Dudley Moore, and Sean Astin as the comedy dud like father like son. The film centers around Cameron and Moore who transfer bodies to a Native American potion called brain transference serum. At the end of all the hijinks, father and son finally realize they enjoy spending time together and Moore turns down the chief of staff job at his employer's hospital. The film performed well, but you won't convince me it was 96 minutes well spent. And that's everything you need to know that was happening when Miami Vice was king. Be sure to join us on Go With The Heat at GoWithTheHeat.com. I'd love to hear from you. Email the show GoWithTheHeat at gmail.com or follow us on Twitter at GoWithTheHeat. That's all for this week. Bye, pals.